Good evening, YouTube, or good morning, whenever this goes out. I'm not quite sure. I'm recording it Thursday evening, 6 p.m. I don't know if it'll go out in the early hours or tomorrow morning, afternoon. Who knows? Um, maybe this evening. I, I don't know yet. Um, because I did say I was coming back to YouTube. Going to have, have a break. I was coming back December the 1st. Uh, but December the 1st, unfortunately for me, I'll be out delivering turkeys to some of the needy residents in um, this part of London. Um, anyway, I'm not here to talk about turkeys. Well, <laughs> I guess I am. Because of none other than Paddy Pants Dan has decided to jump on the Marty bandwagon. Me girlfriend run off with me next door neighbour, Gif. Gif. I'll miss you, mate. That's my Paddy Pants Down impression. So, yes, um, you know, I was talking about on my previous video about Martin is everywhere. Everyone's live. Everyone's comments. So, I just happened to be channel hopping. Uh, Paddy was doing a, a live. I don't normally watch because I find him, I can we call it, a bit nauseating. You know, a bit boring, if I'm honest with you. Um... He's a droner, and he drones, he's not, he just doesn't do it for me, he's too, um, I don't know, he's like one of them Thunderbird puppets, isn't he, you know, and One-Eyed Willy from, um, The Goonies. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, I happen to notice that Martin, he couldn't resist, as, uh, Paddy Pantsdown was blowing smoke up Martin's backside, um, Paddy, you couldn't get any further up that man's bottom, could you? You would need, I don't know, a, a tug of war of ten men to get you out of that bottom. Jesus Christ, mate. I'm, I swear to God, you must have been so far up his backside, you must have been near enough touching his tongue. Anyway, uh, Marty couldn't resist because he was getting um, lauded with a load of praise from Paddy, <laughs> who I did think had a bit more common sense to be scammed by one of the oldest scammers in the book, namely Martin Dribble, you know, and the, um, that iffy website he's got. Anyway, so Marty couldn't resist. He had to jump in here. He said, look, he's replying to someone in the chat at Tootsie. Tootsie. <laughs> I don't need the money. People begged me to allow them to donate. People begged you so let them donate to your iffy little GoFundMe scam. They begged you, did they, Martin? And you just, oh, you just could not say, oh, I could not say no. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to offend anybody and tell them I don't want their hard-earned pip money. Please keep giving. I'm going to take legal proceedings. Hurry for, this is it now. The downfall of Beggy is all because of me. I'm, now oh, this, this is, get this, the comments get even worse. Wait until you read the next one. Hear the next one. I'm doing a reading. <laughs> so Martin goes, I'm not stopping, mate. I want 10 years off him. Oh, Martin, please, please, please. Will you stop? Behave, mate. Behave. You're not going to get 10 days off him. Yeah, your phony defamation case or whatever it is, is, is destined to fail. You know, you haven't got the funds, despite you being a successful businessman, a successful business scammer, I would say. Um, any normal lawyer will laugh you out the building. You brought this man over. You groomed him to come over to um, the Philippines, yeah? He did. Um, you didn't train with him. You Instead, you brought him to your house. You didn't find him any other accommodation. You brought him into your home. You went gallivanting out with your bit on the side, left him with your wife and your family. Um, now he has slandered you and you're crying. Um, um, he slandered your business. Uh, he slandered your so-called reputation. And, and you, you feel you are going to bring this man to justice. Please, please. For what? For what? What, have you heard of the old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Correct? Yes, of course it's correct. So yeah, it's just, uh, um, so now we've got Paddy Pants down, Martin Dribble, colluding, you know, working together. I mean, um, Paddy's calling anyone, the um, scumbags, whatnot, 
that ain't down with Martin. It's absolutely laughable. Um, Paddy, you're a has-been. Well, no, in fact, you're a never has-been. You know what I mean? Um, you're irrelevant now. You are absolutely irrelevant. You're an old dinosaur. And um, you ha you carry no clout in the real world, let alone on YouTube. Martin, you're just another Billy No Mates that's just crawled out of the woodwork, wanting funds, wanting donations, thinks, thinks that you have the... Um, same credentials as Beggy to, um, you know, con the public. Well, I've got news for you. Oh, you say one thing about Beggy, but at least he was entertaining. It was Car Crush TV. It was funny. It was very funny. For the wrong reasons, I've got that. But it was funny listening to what shy he would make up each day. I mean, it was, um, it was beyond believable. It was just, it was funny for all the wrong reasons. And Martin, you just do not have... The personality, my friend, to pull off being a... But you have one thing in common with Beggy. You're a scammer. Now, I've had people in my comments saying, how old was Martin when he got it with his wife? I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to ask Martin that. People saying he was an old man, uh, the, the woman was young. I don't know. That's not for me to poke my nose in. If I did poke my nose in about that, people would probably throw more donations at Martin. That's how... You see, it's all, it's all reverse with this lot. The more bad you are, the more money they throw at you, you know, the, they only fund the bad lot, the good guys, they get nothing, you know what I mean, look at Tank, six donations, laughable, brought entertainment, um, spent a small fortune on props, you know, told it how it was, like me, he can, you know, he can smell a wrong one, you know, when he sees them, you know, you haven't got to be Einstein to work out that Martin it's, it's a scammer. Just look at the face. Look at the smarmy face. It's like a frog. He's, act he's actually like a slippery frog. No offence to any frogs out there. You know, how anyone can be still taken in by his shenanigans is anyone's guess. Do you know? There's going to be no legal proceedings. There will be no legal case. He has he has no grounds for any anything legal. Um, Paddy on there. Up Martin's backside said, oh, yes, Martin, it's, yes, uh, for what he's done to your family, he's ruined you, ruined your life, ruined your, excuse me, mush, Martin brought him over there, didn't bring him to any, didn't put him in an hotel, brought him to his ass, had him there for weeks, weeks, and then only, only then realised that, um, Beggy's no good, he done the same thing to me, offered me to go out there, Martin offered to, what did he want to do with me, train me as well, like, like he was going to, or did, did he just want to, Use people, use people for his shoddy little website and to make money. He, you know, he's monetized his channel. Yeah, money for that. Money for old rope, 30 minute videos. Now he's going to have members. Go fund this. What next? What next? What other little get rich quick set? We're hearing him talking about he's going to uh, um, do some training with a f ex four time world champion in January. Where have we heard them kind of stories before? You know? Martin, you've done no training. You've you've spun around with a couple of little pink one kilo dumbbells that you got from Argos. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, you're doing like an aerobics workout. It's, it's more, it's not so much um, Eddie Hall or it's more Jane Fonda. You know, your workouts are more Jane Fonda, you know, and you're telling, oh, I bet someone can't train like me for 30 minutes an hour. Martin, you're doing aerobics, mate. You're doing a few star jumps. And you've got a couple of little one kilo... I'll tell you what, I'll put you at a challenge. 100 kilos on the bar, bench press. See if you can hit 12, yeah? If you can hit 12, I will hit 15. How's that? And I hardly train. I hardly train these days. So you should be... And you're a, you're a big lad, aren't you? You're a big lad. Well, a tall lad. Um, I wouldn't say big because you are built, my friend, like a straw. You know, like a... Like a paper straw, you know? And that's what would have happened if you'd ever got into any confrontation with Beggy. He would have bent you up like a paper straw. You know, that's why you went out your way to avoid him. You know? You were saying left, he was saying right. You only lived about a mile away from each other. You know? But it is what it is, you know? You've learnt a lot from Beggy, I'll give you that. Now, um, I did think that them videos seemed a bit kind of false when they first came on YouTube with you sat around. You looked very glum, very miserable. You looked like you was plotting something. You know why Beggy was, you know, that video where you was, 
Whether you sat on a boat or something or other, and you sat just behind him, you look you look like you was at a funeral. You know, and I, I felt then, I felt something wasn't right about you. I thought you was plotting something, yeah? Your turn around and say, no, it's because I worked out Beggy wasn't a good guy. But you didn't stop you bringing him over there. Did, you knew what he was like. You was in everyone's comments and chat before you even brought him over there to try and make a channel from him. Just like everybody else. You're a nobody. You've got no connection with him now. The only connection you've got, you're still in the same country as him. That's it. I'm going to warn anyone I can. I was going to let this go. I was going to, I'm going to warn anyone I can not to fund your lifestyle. You know, you're at spending people's GoFundMe on your pizza and you're smirking about it. You're smirking with a sly old smile because, you, you know, you know, you've got one over on your naive followers. And there's still about a dozen or so twits that are, that are believing your mumbo jumbo and Paddy being one of them. But then he, you can tell he's low intelligence as well. You know, I don't know what he's putting in his tea, mate, but <laughs> there's something in them tea bags, trust me. Um, yeah, that's all, people. I will speak to you again shortly. Um, like I said, I'll be out um, delivering turkeys all day Friday, the 1st of December. And uh, I, I don't know when I'll next be able to make another video, but I wish everyone the best. Stay strong. God bless you all. Take care.